What image do you conjure up when you think about an English village? A duck pond and the green? Bells ringing in the church tower, or perhaps rustic cottages lining narrow lanes. Whatever you thought about, we usually imagine our villages as peaceful, quaint and attractive places to visit and live. They're timeless communities where traditional buildings and activities have remained unchanged for centuries. Or so we are led to believe, the truth is far more surprising, exciting and turbulent. Villages have always grown or shrunk, many even disappeared, but few ever remain unchanged. The story of the English village is one of overpowering lords, removing whole communities to make way for an attractive garden for themselves. Entrepreneurial farmers and landowners, turfing the poor out onto the streets, changing the landscape of the village to suit agriculture. New industries, canals and railways arriving and causing the whole community to shift. This castles, abbeys and country houses are the backdrop to dramas like the Black Death, devastating floods, plague and poor harvests and starvation. What excites me about villages is the evidence for successes and disasters is still all around us today. You don't have to bury your head in Latin manuscripts to discover the changes a village you visit or live in has gone through. You just need to be able to recognise the signs in the buildings, the roads, the bridges and the fields. And my new book, The English Village Explained, will empower you to do just that. It is broken into two sections. The first tells you the story of English villages over the past thousand years, when they were most likely formed, the events which affected them, and how they have become so revered today. To enhance this, there is an image in each chapter of Exemplar Village, an imaginary settlement which shows how they may have appeared in each period. The second half of the book looks at the village in detail, describing the features you can still see today, what their purpose was, and how to recognise and date them. It ranges from churches, castles and manor houses, down to the village green, trees and the lumps and bumps in the fields. Finally there is a section showing how you could trace the history of a specific village along with a glossary and suggested places of visit. As with all my books there are more pictures and pages. The colour drawings, diagrams and photos I have produced help explain a point or give extra information enhancing the story of the English village. English Villages Explained is available through all good local bookshops, Amazon, and also the publisher's website www.countrysidebooks.co.uk there's usually a sizeable discount. For any more information about myself, the book and the other titles I've produced please go to www.trevoryork.co.uk and thank you very much for watching this video.